Over half of Americans believe in intelligent alien life. In 1974, a radio message was broadcast into space in the hopes of contacting alien civilizations. It was sent out from the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico, sparking many conspiracy theories and much worry for decades to come. How would we react if a civilization unlike any we have known reply back? Would they be friend or foe? Hear something? Respect the band. Welcome to my channel. My name is Paul. Hope you guys enjoyed that introduction. Today is Halloween night. So I thought I'd put together this fun little video for you. So I'm going to show you how to create a binary message and send it into outer space of the same kind that was sent out in 1974 from the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico. A radio telescope listens for sounds and the radio frequency emitted by the universe. The radio telescope in Puerto Rico was the world's largest and it was unique in that it could both listen and send out signals to outer space. Sadly, the telescope is no longer operational. I was lucky enough to see it in person a decade ago on my trip to Puerto Rico. It made a huge impression on me. In 1974, at a ceremony marking the completion of major renovations of the Arecibo Observatory, a message was broadcast into space containing basic information about humanity and Earth. The message was designed by two very famous astrophysicists, Carl Sagan and Frank Drake. The message was designed in such a way that zeros and ones could be plotted on a grid and it would produce the picture you see on the right. It was a semi-serious attempt at communicating with aliens. Over the decades the observatory became very famous. Source material for the movie Contact and many alien conspiracy theories. Built in 1963 on the beautiful island of Puerto Rico, it was originally designed to listen for interballistic missiles. The observatory was originally built as a military project commissioned by the Department of Defense and DARPA, but soon it found use for scientific purposes. The observatory was the largest radio telescope in the world capable of sending and receiving radio messages. The observatory's main uh, instrument is a thousand foot spherical dish built into the natural sinkhole of the surrounding mountains. 
On December 1, 2020, the cable supporting the main platform broke and the structure came tumbling down. causing damage basically too great to fix and the, the observatory, the radio telescope was decommissioned uh, due to safety concerns and just the age of the uh, structure itself. The Arecibo message is an interstellar radio message containing some basic information about humanity. It was sent out in 1974 and directed at the star cluster M13, about 25,000 light years away. The binary message was encoded in zeros and ones and when correctly graphed, contains a picture of a human, our solar system, the double helix of DNA, and a graphic of the Arecibo Observatory. When I zoom out of this message on my computer here and just sort of visually imagine, outline the message, to my eyes it looks like a tiki warrior with a skirt, a shield, and a javelin headdress and the shape of a face here. So, in conclusion, I, I think this was just a very light-hearted attempt at communicating with aliens not to be taken too seriously. So, in the next part of the video, I'm actually going to show you how you can design and send your own message to space. So recently I've been uh, learning how to use Pygame, which is a Python programming programming library for making video games. I had very fond memories and I had a lot of pictures and clips from that place and so I decided to put together this video for you guys. Uh, and also because I've been learning Python, uh, I decided to, in Pygame, I decided to make a little editor where you can design your own message in the same binary format. So it's, it's basically like a graphics editor, almost like an icon editor where you click on an icon or you click on a pixel, it'll turn that pixel into a zero or a one. So uh, you, if you double click, it'll go back to zero. If you click one, it'll turn to one. And I'll output a file, a binary file of the same format, 73 by 23 um, binary message, which you can, basically design, used to design your own binary message to send out to any alien civilizations you may dream of. I'm going to give you the link to the GitHub repo where you can download the program. You're going to need two things installed. You're going to need to run it. You're going to need Python and Pygame installed. Pressing the S key in the editor will save the picture you draw into a binary file with zeros and ones, which you can open in any text editor. You can broadcast your message into space using a service like SpaceSpeak, one of many available online. And sadly, this place no longer exists, so I'm going to leave you with some historical footage that I took, some photos and videos from the observatory itself and the beautiful island of Puerto Rico.
Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video check out some of my other ones on this channel. I do a lot of travel and adventure type videos.